was beef. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Biden versus Trump. Election year, election year, election year. That's a feud for your ass, is it not? Fucking beef. That's an ongoing beef that's been going on. So like That's that's a beef been that's been going on <laughs> since before we were born. Shit. Fucking fucking no, they was cool. Democrats they versus was... Republicans. Oh, that that beef. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about Trump Biden right now. Sleepy Whoa, well, Joe fuck, versus... fuck those fucking losers. Dump. This Dump. old fucking crusty ass clown shit. Oh, mother taken. fucking adrenochrome soaked cocksuckers. This yeah. shit crazy. Everybody, year. everybody fighting in some certain extent. You got Palestinians beef with the Israeli motherfuckers. Oh yeah, yeah. Welcome back to Yuck Time, by the way. The topic of this episode is beefs and feuds. On oh, me. You got dumb niggas beefing. Now we got hip hop. We got Drake and Kendrick beefing. Yes. Started with Metro and Drake. Involved future. This shit crazy, man. <laughs> I love well, it though. like uh, Kendrick is fucking firing shots at, at several motherfuckers, and Drake is just in the middle. Really, he's like the main target, but but like other motherfuckers are getting dragged like all yeah. over the fucking place. So I mean, it's a good distraction from uh, all the politics. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you know all all Tell this the- everything we talk about on this show by and large doesn't fucking matter and that's what makes it fun it matters to us yeah that's all sort of yeah i can <laughs> i it, it matters to me in so much as that's what i it, like end up paying attention to in my day-to-day life um whether or not it matters in in the grand scheme of the universe like you know is not for me to really fucking say so <laughs> it got to it, it. It's like I like who knows if if you know if there is a fucking you know a yeah. happening a, a revolution oh. a, a World War Three or some shit that happens in the the near future. What part will will the Drake v Kendrick feud what if, play? What if World War Three started back in like the seventies and we just <sighs> been going through it? That's that's like the Cold War, motherfucker. Pretty much. That's what I was. Yeah, saying. sure. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, we, we've been in World War Three. It's been warfare. It, it's it's been done. Been world wars up in this bitch forever, for like over a hundred years. It's just the battle and the difference. Instead of fighting head up, it's like politics, like NATO drawing lines or like NATO. Come join us. Or, NATO. Uh, you got the bricks now. They like come join our squad over here. Yeah, that's a shit. That's what it's like. Seem like. And then you got the French Foreign Legion, which is made up of like like anybody who who just shows up. Like <coughs> you, you could be from anywhere in the world, and you just join the French Foreign Legion. I'm alright. <laughs> let's go do it, Tezo. Let's 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 be let's be legionnaires. I'm alright. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe not. You don't rock with the French like that. Freaky so, French. So yes, welcome back to Yuck Time, episode thirty nine. Speaking on freaky French people, even though Toronto, I don't know, if it was settled by the French. Fuck Drake. Not uh, <laughs> That's where I'm getting at. No, we team Kendrick over here. You're you're thinking of Quebec, but yeah, um, same. They were thing. at one point probably colonized by the French. Same thing. Um. But yeah, Drake, Drake, fuck, fuck that motherfucker. I guess Kendrick is winning this fight yeah. very, very easily, very handily. I like the I, music. I don't know, you know, if it's up to much debate. I like the music that's coming out of it, but yeah, he's he's slaughtering him right now. In the culture war, especially all the memes that people are fucking cooking up, just, just yeah. I don't think you could end his career because he's Drake, but no, but you know, yeah. Makes it makes he people can, look he at him. He can take it. Is the thing people look at you different now? Like, say mm. <laughs> <laughs> so that nigga is thirty seven. What he doing with them? Well, yeah, well, I mean, people. 
it's not like an open secret or anything. People yeah. just know this shit and have known it for fucking years. It's like it's like R. Kelly. For like at least like a He decade. didn't do nothing crazy like R. Kelly. I'm gonna put R. Kelly on him, but he's approaching that toy, sir. Well yeah. He still fuck and with the milfs though, the so thing. that's oh, what we, uh, we like. Sure, that's what distracts people. Yeah, he got the Doris Burks of the world. Him trying to get with fucking uh, Kim Gardet. Did he ever get with with Kim? Probably. Fuck. At this point, they was neighbors. Yeah, who knows? I don't. I don't really know. Oh yeah, that's the beef that, that was going on guy. even longer. He still. That guy's gonna shot. be easy thumbnail clickbait. You just got clickbaited, Drake fans. Yeah, twenty twenty four fans. <laughs> we hating up in this motherfucker. No, nah, I'm a, I I rock with Drake and his music and style, but you know it's not it's fine. him it's the fine, person. I guess I don't no, really no, care. No, no, it's not yeah, Drake the him person. As a, him as a person sucks. Yeah, but the artist, that machine that's behind him, sure. they do well. But well, him I as mean, a person, like, you know, I don't know. that's a, fuck that's that guy. A, like, yeah, him as a person, fuck him. Even though him, I don't him know. as a musician, like whatever. I don't really like you know. I don't go out of my way to listen to fucking Drake shit. Really, like it's it's you know, back in the day it was just easy radio popcorn, fucking no, you know. Drake fodder. was that nigga boy. The mixtape days, uh, October's very young, so far gone. Like dumb days, we we was. I mean, he had Wayne behind him, so how could you not like that? <laughs> yeah. But then it started getting over a little bit oversaturated. I'm saying yeah, just like a couple years after that. But no, nah, back though, the early days, yeah, I rock with that, you know, but that's the most artist. The early days, you rock with them there. But sure. Yep. Then you find out that nigga, a woman beater, or <laughs> <laughs> touching on the kids. Yeah, and in both him and fucking Kendrick's cases, they're fucking firing shots back and forth like that. You're a wife beater and a deadbeat. Uh, you have a secret kid, and you're also. Touching them at the same time. I'll, I'll find it interesting that the future stays unscathed in this. <laughs> <laughs> he got like 10 kids. Shit. Well, they like, shit, we ain't gonna talk about that nigga. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? I can't fucking vouch for anybody. I don't know them personally. We can just sort of see the patterns and, and, you know, take note. It's a, it's a good beef. The Chris Brown, um, Chris Brown and Quavo beefing over ex bitches, I guess. Yeah. Quavo don't seem to have a problem, but Chris Brown do. So, hmm. so like the only movie that I could come up with earlier when Tez texted me, granted I had just woken up when I had seen those texts, was fucking straight out of Compton in terms of movies that are sort of rap beef related. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I, I, I saw that shit in the theater when it came out. I did not see it. <laughs> at all you didn't see it at all at all it's funny as fuck but you, yeah you know the, 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 it's about like yeah jerry heller is it i followed like, it a, nwa a, and i did my research on them as a youth so right right and i i listened to them i didn't know, need nobody the to tell me what out. happened sure um <laughs> and they don't even fuck with it like that what straight out of compton the way not everybody fuck with how to was told well sure i mean like it was it was hyper simplified it was it was it was like dumb hollywood you know like like every hollywood fucking biopic basically it was it was sort of done like that and um directed by f gary gray i think who directed i think the original friday uh with no (laughs) <laughs> Walk past me with no. I think he also did the fate of the furious, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Well, I mean, like he's. I, I wouldn't know the fucking guy if you know. Yeah. Like I don't know what he looks like. You could say his name again, and I would like F. Yeah. Gary. Gray Fitzgerald. F. Gary Fitzgerald. I'm gonna Fitz. no, this is what he looks like. Oh, it's a nigga. <laughs> yes. I I probably recognize him now that I seen him. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Congrats. <laughs> I forgot his name again, but... It he's he's directed such films as Friday, Set It Off, The Negotiator, The Italian Job, Be Cool, uh, Law Abiding Citizen. I do like Italian Job. Straight Outta Compton, and The Fate of the Furious, which is the 23rd highest grossing film of all time. Boo. <laughs> Money grab. Oh, fuck, whatever. So why would we he's stop got making his, these? He's got his fucking creds. So why would we stop making these? They just make so much money. <laughs> I got a beef with y'all, Fast and Furious. Oh, uh, shit. And speaking of Fast and Furious beefs, the fucking Rock versus Vin Diesel making those fucking movies. I heard about that. And, and like, Vin Diesel, or not even Vin Diesel, The Rock is in the news just for his terrible conduct being on film sets lately did you hear about this hell no this motherfucker would apparently show up hours late like five hours fucking late to a film shoot and and this would be on like one of these fucking netflix garbage movies that he's making right and that when he did show up he would be pissing into water bottles to save time quote unquote i guess <laughs> uh, that's kind of I mean uh, <laughs> I guess <laughs> I guess it's kind of complicated there but uh, no it's not like if, if you're in like hey let me this big lumbering man let me let me just uh, I'm gonna go over in the corner right quick, real quick no let me be right one. back you see like well no he's, he's just like pissing I guess in front of people or some that's shit that's what I'm saying like that sounds disgusting and complicated but like what the fuck that sounds like some pro wrestler shit uh, but he's not. The, uh, he's still trying to be a fucking movie guy or, or pissing or in the water the bottle. Knows. it's so gross. Water bottle is so hard to piss in. Yeah, that is crazy. That's 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 like basement dweller four chan shit. That might smell like piss a little. Uh, I, I hate <laughs> piss so much. It makes me want to throw up right now. Yeah. Just, just thinking about it. Oh, uh, but fuck the rock. Like, it, yeah, the, the, but the, him and Vin Diesel having, like, the uh, you, you can't beat me in a fight contract. I can't lose. Or some shit. Yeah, yeah I can't lose. Or die. Or die or whatever the fuck. So if they go head up, who gonna win? It was just dumb as, dumb as shit. It didn't, re- none of it really mattered. Like, the one fight, like, arguably Vin Diesel wins in Fast Five. And it, like, like I don't I don't give a shit I don't fucking care I don't fucking care it doesn't matter uh, this fuck makes a lot more sense while the Rock went back to WWE yeah because it, like he could more easily negotiate his stupid dumb storylines like that you know like he could yeah. he could leverage himself to be in whatever fucking you know and then he said he wasn't going to be in no fa- be more Fast and the Furious then he no said, changed his mind yeah. Yeah, shout out to the rock. Yeah, yeah, dude, dude, who he getting money the, the and pissing man. in bottles. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that motherfucker. The money he got, he could have somebody, you know, bring him some different. Like they could bring a whole battle to uh, get but, a portable house. But speaking of of fucking straight out of Compton, fucking Paul Giamatti was in that shit, and 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 a, a popular movie about. A feud that he was in, where he plays one of one of the great villains of cinema, his Marty. big fat liar, the, the the craziest film to to come out of our childhood. I forget. Yeah, I forget, totally forgot that until <laughs> you said something about that. That shit made me think of like Agent Cody Banks and shit like that. Written by Dan Schneider. Hey, he did something good. <laughs> that was a funny-ass movie. Starring Amanda Bynes and Frankie Muniz. That movie was funny as hell. It was a fucking good movie. I don't know how I would look if I rewatch it now. Fucking Jaleel White as himself making fucking Urkel jokes. Goddamn, like, all kinds of mother... Like, Lee Majors was in it, I think. Like, you know, like random-ass motherfuckers and Big Fat Liar. And then Paul Giamatti, on top of it all... Like hamming it up, giving the the wackiest performance you've seen. Like, like you, well, when I saw this fucking guy, I thought he had been a leading man in Hollywood for for like <laughs> a decade, right? But really, he had just been doing like bit parts and shit. 
like up to that point. Like he like this was like sort of like when he started to like peak was like around this time because he was Starting in like other movies. He was in other movies like uh, fucking Sideways, which is like about like drinking drinking fucking wine, just getting fucked up on wine. Yeah, um, winos. Yeah, winos going on a wine tour, but. Yeah, like movies like that, and he's 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 still fucking like in good shit. He was in the holdovers this past year, one of the Oscar movies that I watched. But yeah, like f- this motherfucker looking like like he's straight out of the Blue Man Group, but with orange hair, and and he's he's murderously trying to 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 track down and kill a child. And and it's 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 excellent, wonderful, classic, classic shit. He was the scientist in Big Mama House. Was he really? Yeah, he was the guy that made Martin Lawrence look like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The more you know, I never saw Big Mama's house. Classic, classic. He's in a bunch of fucking shit. He was in. Uh, he, apparently, he was in a fucking Planet of the Apes movie as yep. an ape. I seen that. Yeah, Tezo, I guess, just looked up his yep. fucking filmography just real quick. looked it up. <laughs> so you know the motherfucker. Mm, I had to make sure it was the right guy. No, the yeah. only thing I really remember him from was Big Fat Life. Yeah. Well, he's in a lot of fucking stuff. A lot of fucking stuff. Been... Overlo- and, like, his voice is... Yeah, he's, he sounds like, you know, he's like... Yeah. Like, like... like <laughs> kind of just like like any other guy, but but you know, recognizable enough. I don't know where to place him. Paul, it's what? me, Paul. I, I'm I'm you know I I was in Big Fat Liar and I was in I was in a Spider Man movie and um yeah I and uh, yeah I uh, yeah yeah from the same place pretty much from the same place same state. Connecticut. Connecticut. Well, he was born. We yeah. from the Yo, cut. I wouldn't say you're you're from we Connecticut. From deep in the cut. You're born in the same. Place? I I was I was born in. I I, I got enough Connecticut mm. cult, just enough Connecticut <laughs> culture in me from from <laughs> you know the the <laughs> early days. Just enough. I mean, I am a, a a sicko bum now, but you know there are plenty of sicko. Bums so you have the same career as Paul Giamatti. I have the exact same career as Paul Giamatti. You could have. <laughs> I would say you do. <laughs> uh, you could. A man could dream. You could be in a, a man kid could dream. movie in the next five years. Be the star villain. I, I could be. I could be in the next Spider Man film. Yeah. As Cameo. as the Rhino. <laughs> so you could get get a big break in the new Spider Man. Whoever they recast. Big break. Big, big good, yeah. I don't know if that'd be a big break, but it'd be a good, a good role. Fucking Spider Man movie, motherfucker! You gotta be s- sort of, s- kind of someone. Who was just randomly in a Spider Man movie? Some black guy. Bokeem Woodbine. Yeah, I'm not fucking with you. Yeah, yeah Bokeem like- Woodbine was in in Homecoming as one of the shockers. So yeah, you you could be, you know. <laughs> if evil Dave Chappelle could do it <laughs> exactly shout out to you, you just right. gotta back find, to beefs you gotta find your back uh, to beefs. counterpart oh, okay um, but yeah no Vaseline one of the greatest be- uh, diss songs and speaking about like Hollywood shit and and like you know Big Fat Liar is like a Hollywood you know, sort of set movie. It's about a Hollywood beef, so so to speak. Um, something that's similar is just sort of in real life how Hollywood is is against everybody. Hollywood has a beef with with the rest of mankind. I want to say because it's gay by by making fucking terrible no movies and terrible terrible executive decisions in terms of. You know, like like the the fucking coyote versus Acme situation. Did you hear about that? No. How they did? They basically deleted the movie without releasing it for a tax write off. Mm-hmm. Smart. And, and, no, no. But the, the movie was finished, and everyone apparently who saw it loved the fucking movie. 
but like the stupid asshole who is in charge of Warner Brothers now because of the all of the stupid mergers that have happened over the last few years. That fucking cocksucker, whatever his name is, I forget. Fuck you, guy. Fuck you. He he was just like, uh, let's delete it. I don't care. It, 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 we could write it off and, and, and just get the tax money back. I mean, that does sound smart. It's terrible. No, it, <laughs> like, you could have, uh. Probably could have made more money releasing it, but. That's the point. It's stupid as fuck. Write it off? Uh, whatever. Burning money. They're spineless. Fucking release Coyote versus Acme. Hashtag release Coyote what versus is, Acme. Is this a, a animated movie? It's a hybrid. It, it's it's like uh, Space Jam. It's like fucking like hybrid. Roger Rabbit. Looney Tunes. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those where where uh-huh. where it's it's about the the fucking Coyote, and he's he's sick of of the getting the, fucked up. The Roadrunner, like, yeah, fucking him up, and be, it's it, he blames the Acme company because all of their like inventions that he buys don't work. You know, I think I've seen a, uh, like a a mini or a short about. That. Yeah, well, like uh, he, he he decides to sue the Acme Corporation, but like I know it was a movie. The, it's supposed to be a fucking movie, and it it yeah, now it's deleted. It's gone forever. You probably saw a trailer for it or something. Yeah. So yeah, I remember he was just upset and he tried to get he tried to get a refund or something, a receipt, and they're like, "Nah, you gotta go <laughs> to the big ups." Oh yeah, but that's 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 a whole thing. But speaking of other cartoon shit, I asked Twitter what um what what famous beefs they uh sort of you know loved from either real life or fiction, and most of them picked cartoons for some fucking reason. Like, uh, someone said Tom and Jerry. Like, uh... Classic. Like, like... Honestly, I agree with their assessment. I'm pro-Tom because Jerry is a little too fucking smug. I don't like smug motherfuckers who are, like, proud of their, their, you know, like, being being little shits. I'm a Jerryan. Yeah, uh, sure. I understand, Tom, though, because as a human, I don't want no mouse running around my house. Well, also, I don't want to be grievously injured, and that's that, that's what I sympathize with. Like, getting, like, you know, a, a fear of having though. my hand shut in a window or some shit, He's you know? just dumb, though, sometimes. Well, yeah, that's dumb. the thing. I'm dumb, too, so that's that's <laughs> why I sympathize. Yeah, you like cats, so. And sh- sure. Well, I mean, even this is this is back in the day when I was like a, a kid and I didn't even have a kid. But also, um, I like when Tom talk. Various Simpsons characters like Homer versus Ned Flanders, and also Bart uh, versus yeah, that's Sideshow Bob. I mean, you could say Homer and, and Bart had a little little beef too. But then also one of my Twitter followers requested us to, to ponder about which Simpsons characters have fucked each other. What? Yeah. What did he mean? What do you mean, what did he mean? Like, do he mean <laughs> it's and, pretty straightforward. No, no. You have the universe of that was really creative. Where, also, this was a woman, I think, by the way, that asked me this. Uh, it's a universe where, well... As a kid, it was them sites where they had the cartoon, like Bart fucking Marge and shit like that. Well, like that literally, universe, like, or like you talking like, about and like if you was in The Simpsons, like who would hook up in The Simpsons type shit? Probably not, just not, not not the pornify. Yeah, like, why are you bringing crazy. porn into this, you sick freak? I didn't bring it into about, it. That's you why just, I asked. you just uh, you it just it sounded like up. she did. She said, "Who fucks?" So I'm like, "It's it's a real universe. <laughs> like somebody created the alternate universe where that nasty, freaky shit happened." Well, no, in the about? real okay. Simpsons universe, I had to it, like we're not like it, if anything, we'd be making up our own fucking like weird pornified universe associations if we did. Like we wouldn't have to adhere to any. Like we wouldn't be going on the Rule Thirty Four fucking website to see what already exists. You know, I'm just saying, like, like in know. terms of realistically. Or maybe not even realistically. Uh, just who in The Simpsons would fuck each other? Uh, I hope the kid's not fucking. No, I hope not. If I, I know Marge would probably be cheating on Homer with. Not, I don't well, think I think Ned. there was an episode where Homer fucked Lena Dunham or some shit. 
Like, there are a couple episodes where Homer and Marge, like, break up temporarily or whatever the fuck. And then, like, I think they get with other people. I seen the, that one where Homo felt guilty, but I didn't know if he cheated or not. But yeah, I don't fucking know. Car- yeah. It was PG, so it could just be shit alluding to it. Sure. Now that I think about it. I mean, it, it's like, like, mm, like TV 14. It was PG. Why was that? It was always PG. Well, I mean, like, like, there were episodes that, like, like, we're talking about, like, boners and shit. Like, I don't know. It's just, like, that's not wiener, PG. Wiener, wiener. <laughs> uh, they get, you could push the limits with PG. That's what, that's what made me think, like, because they will push, like, Simpsons could push it to a certain extent, but South Park and when Family Guy came, they go crazy with it. I don't, like, had, like, uh, okay. We have to, for every decision... Of who's fucking who on The Simpsons, we have to to decide individually if this is like a pornified idea or not, or if this is a realistic thing that would happen in The Simpsons. Okay, so Mr. Burns and Smithers. No. No, that's that's some porno shit. Yeah, that's porno. Okay. I don't think. Fair enough. I don't think Mr. Burns. Smithers and some other. Prominent character, I'm trying to think, m- male character that we we could think of. Some some things are canon, like like some some interesting things are canon. Like Mo the bartender has like definitely fucked a, a little person. Yeah. <laughs> That's canon, right? And um, some other weird shit. But like other things, we have to right, to, to think about, like. Fucking Lenny and Carl, I could imagine, probably haven't fucked each other, but may or may not have fucked either separate women in the same room or Eiffel Towered the same woman. I feel like they hit, one of them hit March. What, Lenny or Carl? I don't know if that's, the, that, the, no, that's, that's some porno shit, motherfucker. I call I porno. Say, I, I ain't explicit. I, I just think uh, he would cheat on Homer with one of his friends. No, not with one of those fucking guys. Not Mo. Well, not with Mo either, and definitely not with Barney. No, nah, like like Marge, the, 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 like the. I don't know. Barney is possible, but when Marge cheats or 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 whatever, like is with someone other than Homer, she usually goes for someone who's like actually like m- noticeably better. You know, like not a fucking. Schlub, not just like another fucking like piece of shit. Yeah, Lenny looks like part. skinny Homer. Well, yeah, you know. So he's just like a dude, like just like we're just naming the guys that hang out at the fucking bar. So they, yeah, you got the teacher, you know, the principal. What's the name? Smithers? No, not Smithers. No, no, no. Principal is Skinner. Skinner, that's his name. Yeah. Skinner and uh, what's the name? Edna. You think they fucked, or they might have fucked? Actually, I mean, he the, he the I forget. The teacher. I forget if there are episodes where they fucked. Okay, so that's that's probably real. And also, canon is is Edna fucking um, Flanders right before she died. They got married, dude. Did you know that? Who Flanders and and the teacher? Why? Because because the, the show universe? is thirty thousand years old in the main in, in the main universe, and then the actress died, so they killed the character. The only way to do it, like pretty much. But like, yeah, imagine when one of like the main main motherfucking actor, like one of the main six, dies. It's gonna be fucked. The show's gonna like just be be over unless they just AI that person's characters. You know. Cause say Adna and uh, Selma. They're already knocking off other motherfuckers. Like I think that's poo for racism reasons. Yeah, I seen that. And they changed fucking Carl's voice actor to an actual black guy. Yeah. Instead of uh, <laughs> yeah, Hank Azaria or whoever it was before. Doctor Hibbert, Selma is a uh, straight one, so. She could have <laughs> slid on. I don't know, man. That's a weird ass question. It's not enough characters in The Simpsons. <laughs> Marge! To There's too many niggas in The Simpsons for. for Why does this answer. black guy think there aren't enough characters in our show? It's too many niggas. Mm, I don't know about that, Homer. It's too many niggas and not enough women. <laughs> 
Other sure. than Marge and her sisters, name the other women character. Lisa and um, women. That's a girl. Oh, give me a fucking break. Maggie and Lisa's children. I'm talking about women, grown women. Uh, the one chick you that, got the teacher? that that Homer cheats on Marge with. You don't even know that, her name. That that uh, he goes to Chicago with. It's it's like fucking um. It's like Mindy or some shit, motherfucker. It's too many niggas. It's, it's, that is a character. I didn't just fucking make that up. No, I believe. I believe. Uh, that's enough about you the got, fucking. Okay, Simpsons, okay, Miss Albright. Okay. Oh, 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 Millhouse's mom. Okay, that's another. That's oh, still. You could probably name thirty niggas before you could name. That's what I'm oh, saying. Like, it's please. too many niggas on the Simpsons. Please. You could you could fucking name plenty of women. You can't do it right now. <laughs> I I'm just you're looking you're you're fucking cheating by looking at the fucking Wikipedia page. And, the and, and, and the niggas is outnumbering. Them. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm looking at it and I see like, damn, I'm going. A lot this of is a beef I'm having with Tezo right now. <laughs> this is the John V. Tezo Simpsons character naming beef. No, enough of this shit. Enough, enough. I say. Fucking, uh, what else is on the list here? My my list of shit. Did you watch that TV show? The uh... Netflix. Beef? Yeah. No, I did not. But you did. Tell me about it, Tezo. I know you've already it's told a, me about it in the past. Yeah, it's a dumb show. But it's I don't good. Think we talked about it on this. It's show. very good, but it's dumb. Like they beef could have been avoided. It's like some regular road race. Oh, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure, and it escalates to to yeah. horrific violence. Murder, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, prison time, people lives ruined. She fucking Wonderful. little fuck that nigga, little brother, or some shit. To oh, get back at that fuck? nigga, that nigga, <laughs> that nigga, come back, tell her husband, ruin her life, and her family, her promotion. Not people fucking each other on TV. She's like just out of spite, <laughs> and they all Asian too. I can't tell you what type of Asian. But they Asian. What type of Asian? I know They're that different. I know that what's his face is is definitely Korean. Maybe. What are you talking about? Maybe. <laughs> that's that's fucking invincible, motherfucker. Shout out to the Asian people. I was gonna say you ever watched The Walking Dead? Yeah, he yeah. got his ass, his head split he open. Fucked up by the governor. Shout out to you, Glenn. Stephen. If I'm not mistaken, if is his name Steve? Who the governor? No, the, the invincible. Are you talking about in the show? The, the 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 guy, the actor. Oh, from Beef. Uh, I yeah, I don't know his name. Stephen Yun. I if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I know his name is Glenn from Walking Dead. Glenn from The Walking Dead. We love you. I believe your name is Steven. If I am wrong, then I'm gonna. Shoot yeah, yeah, myself. yeah, yeah. You right. Yeah. You right. I, we we check. We got. We got. I am committed to not checking my phone or Google in the middle we, of these recordings. We got and screaming at the top of my lungs when I'm right about shit. We got somebody over here on the board, you know, feeding us answers. Yes, we have the fact checker. We have a producer off off screen. Uh, this is the person who also feeds us jokes. This is our our <laughs> our our friend. Um. Um, Lonnie. Thank you, Lonnie. Quick nod. He nodded. He nodded. Nah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, Lonnie, the the producer, um, who totally exists. Um, but yeah, Stephen Young and Beef, cool, cool dude. Yeah, but Beef he, and he with, ended up with that one chick. Yeah, he ended up getting fucked up. And in I that think bit. he's definitely Korean. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't tell you. I don't want to disrespect him, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, me. I'm yeah, from, Te- Tezo checked the name checked him for me, but he didn't yeah. fucking goddamn. Okay, hang on. We will. Yes, yes. I'm from the. Yes! Uh, I'm from the Midwest. Everybody's he is, Chinese. He is, to us. he is. He is Korean. Okay, settled. <laughs> Shout out to you, Stephen Yun, and uh, Shorty. Uh, I forgot her name. Whoever the fuck Shorty is, she, fuck that. She bitch. did a great no. job. No, yeah. They both of <laughs> them. Shout out to you, whoever you are. And was, I would have did that to Ali Wong. I'd do that to her too. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's her Don't name. Don't say that. I, 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 do, I do that to you, Ali. Shout out to you. And <laughs> if you can, get me in touch with Aquafina. I'm oh, out here in New York. Sake. You know, shout out to Aquafina. God. I got to put it out there. She got to let it be known. You don't have to put it out there. <laughs> like if you fuck with chocolate, Aquafina, come holler at me. All right. <laughs> Fuck's sake. But yeah, Beef is a show, I guess, that has Asians on it. I'm watching another show right now on HBO that's about a fucking... Well, it's sort of about the beef, I guess you could say, between... Uh, North Vietnamese spies in the United States in in you know the the direct aftermath of the Vietnam War it's called uh the sympathizer it's on fucking HBO and what's interesting about that fucking show is like you know the main character is is the 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 spy right he's he's like a North Viet he was born in Vietnam Vietcong. yeah uh, his father is of mysterious unknown origin, so he might be be like a half white mutt, as far as we know. Like his father might be some fucking French person that fucked off, but we're not sure. Um, but like you know, he he's sort of like he 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 like went to school in the United States, so he's like pretty fucking well integrated into you know United States scene culture, and that's what makes him a good spy and shit. To the point where he's like literally embedded within like the CIA but his CIA contact is fucking Robert Downey Jr and his, his college professor was Robert Downey Jr but a different Robert Downey Jr what do you mean and then there's another guy who is who is a soldier who is another Robert Downey Jr oh no, that's different well, the, cause all and then there's the a same. fourth guy who's a filmmaker who's another Robert Downey Jr. Because all white people look alike? I think that's, yeah. I, th- I think it's because it's either that, like, you know, either white people all look alike or they all represent sort of the same thing. I okay. think that's why it's him playing these four different roles. Because it's like, they're in one scene together where, like, they go to a strip club just fucking around with strippers and shit. Even though, like, one of them's gay and shit, like, he's, he's at the strip club and he's got, like, a woman in his lap, whatever the fuck. It's just, like, like you, you could tell that's that's what that theme is there. United States cultural imperialism, what they call Occidental culture, whatever the fuck. Western culture, which, you know, I don't... You know, the, the show is sort of, like, about how much, like, people bought into that shit back then. I guess some people still do. The extent to which, like, people are willing to throw, like, communism as, a, a like, a label, calling other people commies, like, on Twitter and shit. It's like, I've well, seen whatever. a uh, little bit of rise that. Someone called, like, a couple of people called me a fucking Jew because of Nick Fuentes. On on, <laughs> I, I did a yeah, Nick Fuentes John, poll. You're, you're the Jew, fucking Jew, <laughs> John the Jew, here. John Kabowitz. No, <laughs> yeah, Godolfowitz. The call yeah, yourself. John Godolfowitz. <laughs> what is uh? I don't even know any other Jewish last names to think of right now. Schottenheimer. I don't know. John Jonathan Goldstein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one. Yeah. <laughs> talking about what Twitter is oh, a, not a fuck. real place for real he called you a Jew yeah just because I, I, I said that Nick Fuentes should be comment. fired into the fucking sun on a rocket ship I seen ship. that and I wanted to like it no it was a poll it is a poll I said either yes or double yes and I wanted to say double yes but I ignored it <laughs> I'm like nope I can't what? give this energy to Nick Fuentes yeah uh, well, I mean, like, I, I barely gave the energy to it. I just saw that he got, like, came back. And, like, I forgot about it five minutes later, you know? I don't give, a, like, a yeah, hot fuck, fuck yeah, about fuck, most things yeah. on Twitter like that. But if a person called you a jewel, it's kind of funny. It is. It was hilarious. To, he is, called me a Jew, a and I called him retarded. Is that a slur? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, it's just like they, they immediately think that you're a fucking Zionist. It's like like the the dumbass like groipers who are actual like fucking Nazis and shit, like hardcore 
on the basis of being like fucking Christian nationalists and whatnot. Um, like they will, they will immediately jump to thinking that anyone that disagrees with with anyone that they like is is Jewish. You know, immediately. Oh, you're you're getting paid by fucking George Soros. That kind, of, that <laughs> same shit. Soros funded. It's like I've been to fucking protests. Where's my Soros hey, check? Hey, George Soros. Where's you... my fucking Soros check? Hey, George Soros, you trying to fund me? Slide that bread yeah, this way. Yeah, let's get that Soros money. Yeah, we could we could push an agenda if you We're need. We're gonna be fucking center left, whatever the fuck. Whatever. Hey, George We're Soros. Be a center left me. talk show, just like like you know what. You used to get give me about five mil. Give John about six mil. He made yeah. he, he made the podcast. Give him an extra please, meal. Please, please. G- give him the extra meal. I need we, we money. Could push, we could push the agenda. We need money. And we could hire people. Yes, we can hire. We will We will set up a salary package with health benefits and dental. Boots on the ground in New York. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to, yeah, we're going to have like man on the street videos. <laughs> and we're going to send like poor interns out there. Who are getting paid minimum wage to? to no, they were on, free. It's, <laughs> yeah, they're going to be on video for free exposure, experience, experience, and exposure internship. And uh, we go give them a stipend of a hundred fifty dollar gift card to Amazon. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fuck. If only. If only. No, nah, I. I like. Unlike some people I know, I wouldn't be happy with fucking people over like that. I want everyone I'll to get... I'll fuck George Soros over. Well, I'll fuck the person over who's giving us a million dollars. That's fine. Yeah. You know, I don't want to fuck over people we're employing. Unless you, know? unless you really give us that bread, George, then we won't well, fuck you over. I mean, you know. We, we wouldn't. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's see it. Let's, let's, let us see it. That would be, you know, very well. We, we got to make some infrastructural improvements around here. We need better microphones, better recording equipment. Fucking. And we need to be like somewhere warm. External hard drive where, space. Where, where bitches are at. Yeah. We, 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 this is an announcement, audience, that we may or may not be taking the show on the road sometime soon. Maybe. Hopefully. 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 It'll be nice. We're going to go somewhere nice. Or are we going to bring the bitches here? Or we will bring the bitches here. We will, or we'll do a show where the bitches are at somewhere. We will figure Soros. it out. We need that bread, Soros. We're gonna do a show without anybody knowing who we are in front of a bunch of people. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure out how to do it. I seen them do it on TikTok. <laughs> uh I like. I've, I've thought about like we should just do like a show outside at some point. Like I think it's gonna happen sooner than later, depending on uh, the events of the next couple of months. The maybe. only problem, well, yeah, the only problem is the, the battery source. Yeah, exactly. I think it would be fine. Like this thing can last more than an hour, fucking out in the wild without being plugged in. So that would be fine. All right. The laptop would be fine, but yeah, other things. Who the fuck knows? We will figure it out. Eventually, we're going to get a different recorder that is actually capable of, of more than one Multi-track. mic port and track and takes an SD card and all of that fun fucking stuff. I know just the one we're going to get. And we're going to get some other microphones and then we're going to be able to have guests on the show. Because... We can't have guests now unless they want to share that fucking piece of shit that Tezo uses every week. I had some people say they would, but this is our beef. I'd rather wait. This is our beef with our very lo-fi setup. Like, like honestly, like y- audience, you should see what we have to work with every single week. It is astonishingly low tech. It's astonishing. <laughs> Talking about eh. We used to, yeah, we used to get down like this back in the early days of uh, recording. Uh, I mean, yeah. Back in the 2000. This is the only time I've ever like tried fucking setting anything up. Nine, like, I, I don't know how I would tens. improve this as it is right now, other than just downloading some other program that simplifies things for me. 
But right now I'm happy with this because at least like the latency is so low that I could keep the headphones on the whole time and not feel like I'm drunk, you know, slurring my words. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it sounds good. Welcome back to the Yuck Show. It's Yuck 101. Yuck time! We're yucking over here on the Yuck Time podcast. And and coming next week, another episode of Yuck Zone. Yuck Zone. Yuck Zone episode two. About about me blowing myself up, and then us killing a bunch of ants, and then deciding the fate of a little boy. Whoa! <laughs> or maybe like like uh, did we decide the fate of the little boy? I forget. No, Who knows? We didn't it's, a, it's a it's a well well we'll, we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Spoilers! Spoiler alert! You'll have to find out next week on Yuck Zone. Yuck Not Zone. the freaky. No, no Drake. Not, no, no, no Diddy. Diddy, no Drake, no, none of that shit. But we did have to fight a bunch of fucking ants, and it was fucking annoying. And uh, by we, I, we mean John. Yeah, I, I <laughs> like you know Tezo just just sort of you know did all the talking. I make. Decisions. I did all the walking. He does all the talking. Oh shit! I didn't want to do that. I accidentally turned on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh this show is a mess. No. Yes. 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 And this is how we like it. Pretty uniform today. I got shit. Who the fuck knows, man? Who the fuck knows, man? Oh yeah, in the Cinco de Mayo. Oh, uh, happy Cinco de Mayo. It is now Cinco de Mayo as we are recording. It is 1 a.m. Yesterday was Cinco de Cuatro, a.k.a. May the 4th be with your ass. Star Wars Day or something. One of the Star Wars days. Ooh. There are multiple Star Wars days. Yeah, it was May the 4th. But, um, yeah, now it's Cinco de Mayo. Viva la Mexico. And I already ate Taco Bell yesterday. God damn it. Oh, well. There was probably some kind of deal they would have today. Tequila and tacos. Go. Yeah, I, I could use some fucking tequila right now. I am, I have quit drinking for the time being, audience. Wish me luck. Jeez. I haven't had a drink in at least four days. Yeah, something like that. Been a minute. Not sure when. Yay. Just been drinking a shitload of black coffee and soda pop instead. Yay. <laughs> Feels like shit, but, you know, could be worse, because I got a shitload of weed. Yay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. But it's all good. We're rocking. I'm really just trying to fill time at this point, because we got 10 minutes left on this fucking bitch. We got to get to an hour. We got to get to a fucking hour. I'm trying to think. Yeah. 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 Beef. 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 What other fucking beefs are there, goddammit? Kanye West versus Taylor Swift. Classic beef. Or Taylor Swift versus the world, basically, at this fucking point. Uh, I just watched fucking a clip. Game Vince beefs. Staples said, like, as Kendrick and, um... As Kendrick and Drake are beefing. Yeah. With each other, she beefing with the music labels to get paid for streams. Sure, of course she is. Well, she like, uh, fucking. Well, that that's the whole impetus behind her re-recording all of her fucking material. You know, doing everything twice because like fucking the 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 label owns the the, the original recordings, and then she has to fucking. Mm-hmm. In order to get, like, you know, full royalties. She just got the masters for her old shit. Exactly. I believe. I could be wrong. Could be. But that's what they're they fighting for right now. I don't, I don't know yeah, what... She's wildly fucking rich. It's she not that much... Sucks. I mean, it could be a little to look like that. She's basically Kanye. like white Kanye. But she got a... It's like, same thing with Kanye and them. They just got a tour for the rest of their life to keep eating. 
Yeah. They can't just sit back. Not necessarily. But yeah, Taylor Swift fighting for uh, the future of uh, hip-hop. The future of music. bullshit. Fuck that rich bitch. I'm sick of her ass. I think it's similar to the beef that, uh, if you want to call it beef, the, the um, actors and the... Uh, PA people who have oh, the, the, oh, the actors and the PA people were having with the uh, Hollywood trying to get that something like that. The, the PA people and the, and the actors, PA people and the because it was two different blah, blah, blah. Uh, unions, whatever. I guess, but it, it is like I don't know. It's similar to what she's trying to fight for. It's similar, but she's in a better spot, sort of like in terms of being able to negotiate shit now or whatever the fuck. Like, on an individual base. Like, she doesn't have to, like, fucking unionize or whatever. No. Nah. You know? She's not, like... She doesn't have... To, she's not relying on anyone else, really, I don't think. No, oh, yeah. What's a beef that you've had with somebody, audience? Do you hold grudges against people? If you want some good beef, go to Portillo's in Chicago. <laughs> Portillo's in... <laughs> Chicago, Italian which beef. is a place <laughs> that Tezo recommends. Get you an Italian beef. <laughs> Apparently, I have to eat Dipped. food at b- before I die. If you like a wet sandwich, a wet yeah, wet Italian beef <laughs> dipped in the good juice. I'm just cheese. God fucking damn! Yeah, Never I had none of the shit. Every other beef is old. Every other beef is old. You got the J, uh, John there are Rule beefs 56. that go back to the beginning of time, motherfucker. Christians versus uh, Christians versus Muslims. Moose, Muslims and the 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 Islamic State. The 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 Jedi, the the Jedi, the Jedi versus the Sith. That's that's a totally real thing that exists in real life. The Jedi became the Jews. Our, our Jewish friends know how to use the force and all secretly have lightsabers. Um, that's that's the thing that I just said. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck Star Wars. It's all right. Fuck Star Trek. Don't don't fuck Star <laughs> Trek. Okay, yeah, that's I a feud, motherfucking. Star Wars for your Star ass. Trek. Star Wars and Star Trek. Trekkies versus the the wars. Oh, that's know. another feud in itself. Is it Trekkie or is it Trekker? I don't know. Motherfuckers We're argue about them. about Trekkie versus Trekker, like like that. Fucking oh, you a Star Trekker or a Star Trekkie? Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. So, so audience, in terms of what we want to call you from now on, would you prefer yuckies or yuckers? Because you're not yuckos. We're the fucking yuckos. And or, anyone that we deem a, a yucko is a yucko, but not you fuckers. Or you're y- yuckers. Or yuckites. Or yuckites. <laughs> Yukonians. Yukubians. Y- 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 nah, yuck. <laughs> Yukonian. You could be a Yukubian, but uh, you're not going to be with some us. Some of them might be Yukubians. Yeah, you yeah. might. You won't be with us. Uh, <laughs> Oh, fucking fuck. Hell. Hell's bells. This episode might be a little shorter than usual. Uh, so with that... Well, you could play the, play the algorithm. Yeah, algorithm... Oh, we got a bunch of fucking shit that's going in our stupid thumbnail in our description. The Simpsons is going all fucking up in that bitch. So, with that... We will see you next time on Yuck Time. Fucking smash that like button. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Fucking leave a comment. Talk about feuds. Talking about beef. feuds and beefs and shit. Why is it called beef? Why is it called beef? You tell us in the comments section. And give us money at on our Patreon, www.patreon.com slash yuck time where for as little as three dollars a month you can get credited on our youtube uploads and also get access to a bunch of fucking shit bunch of shit get access to a bunch of fucking shit subscribe (laughs) subscribe it's fun it's good for you the shit is good for your soul 
and we will see you next time on a very special edition of Yuck Time. Yuck Zone! Yuck Zone number two! Yuck Zone. Yuck Zone two! I just described the Yuck Zone. Nice. All right. <laughs> we'll see. Well, you should do that too, audience. Subscribe <laughs> to Yuck Zone, and we'll see you. Bye.